Xerox Capital. Is it a scam or is it the best thing ever and can make you a fortune? I'm going to give you absolute categoric proof that they are scammers, uh, but I just want to give you a bit of background story as to how this came to my attention. I was on Facebook and Shannon Morgan contacted me and said, hello, how are you doing? This was completely out of the blue. I have one uh, common friend, one mutual friend. Uh, I looked at her profile and I saw that she was with Xerox Capital. Now I have heard of Xerox Capital before this and I know it's a scam, but I thought, well, let's see where this goes. So I said, very good, thanks. I see you're in Xerox Capital, which concerns me though, as I believe that is a Ponzi scam. However, if you're not contacting me to pitch, then that's fine and great to connect. Hope you are well. Uh, an hour and 20 minutes later, laugh out loud. Why did you say Xerox Capital is a scam? So here we go, even though I've already told him or her, and this could well be a scammer's account anyway on Facebook, that I'm not interested, they're still going to try and pitch me. I said, sorry, I'm not gonna fall into that rabbit hole. Neither of us will find any satisfaction in that argument. And then I changed my mind. But for a bit of fun, I'm happy to entertain. Here's the first question. What's the address of this building? Now this was taken from the YouTube video from Xerox Capital, their official promotional video. And I did a search for this building and uh, what you'll find later on in my proof that this is a scam will be quite entertaining. Uh, she just replied with this and said, here's the government of Tuvula, Office of Registrar of Companies. And there's the address, level three, Tuvula, Tuvula even, house, 16 Gorry Street, Suva, Fuji, Fiji rather. So I said, so you think that's the building in the screen grab? Because that was her response to me taking the screenshot from the YouTube video. It's, so it's in Fiji, yes? And she said, I can share the company PDF easier. You have a look yourself. And then she said, that's the location. I have been there myself due to downlines of mine are many. This doesn't actually sound particularly English here. By this stage, I'm starting to think, okay, Shannon, you're not an English speaking person. So I said, sorry, just to clarify, where have you been to this building? And again, I shared the screen grab. The company head office, I assume that is. She said, yes, that's it, Paul. So I said, so the building is in Fiji? And she said, yes, Paul. Then I tried calling a couple of times. I tried calling for about 60 seconds there and I said, please answer the call and no answer, and I tried 10 minutes ago, and I tried again, still no answer. That's presumably because Shannon Morgan is gonna have a very un-English sounding voice. Now, let's jump into the rest of the video and show you why Xerox Capital is definitely a scam. So first thing we're going to do is actually look at the Xerox Capital uh, video that they've put up on YouTube. This was uploaded on the 6th of April, 2022. They only have nine subscribers to their channel, and there's one comment, the best platform ever from Danny Wise, which again is a very fake sounding name. Um, but this video uh, basically built up a lot of stock footage. Um, but what we need to do, first of all, is confirm the actual address of Xerox Capital. Uh, if we go back to the incorporation address and that conversation I had with Shannon Morgan, uh, we would see that the address for Xerox Capital is in Fiji. However, when we watch this video from Xerox Capital, and I will just highlight a few bits, we're not gonna make this too long, but first of all, actually we have this um, skyline here. Now, this is not Fiji, but I will show you where it is. If you pay particular attention to these two buildings on the right-hand side, and then I show you the next image, you will see them just here. There is the tall uh, clock face building, with this tall skyscraper here with a fold next to it. Again, go back to that video, there it is, the tall uh, clock face and the fold on that building. And this building is actually in Warsaw in Poland, or this skyline rather is in Warsaw, Poland, thousands and thousands of miles away from Fiji. Now that poses the very simple question, why on earth would you edit your promotional video for your company, which supposedly is thousands of employees making billions of dollars, why would you use a completely different skyline and stock photo from a different area? This happens multiple times in the Xerox Capital video. Let me show you a few more. Xerox Capital is a leading to value. 
So here we go, we've got another building here and this one is photoshopped as well as a stock photo. Um, but this is a very particular building. So this, uh, once you do your image searches, and this does take quite a lot of effort to do, so I'm taking all that effort away from you. This is clearly photoshopped. And again, this is not in Fiji, even though Shannon Morgan said she'd actually been to this building in Fiji. Uh, I will show you where this building actually is. So in particular, look at the structure. The roof of this building it has this triangular piece. It's a white colored building. On this side of the top, there are eight uh, vertical slats. On the front there, there are 11 vertical slats. And if we go, we find this building. Triangular rooftop, same color, eight vertical slats. On the right hand side, 11 there. This building is actually called Decker, or it's part of Decker Bank in Germany. And so this uh, is a complete fake as well. This is nothing to do with Xerox Capital. That has been edited onto the side on this image. Again, why fake this? Uh, and in particular, why use a big bank in Germany as your corporate building or your pretend corporate building? It makes it easy for people uh, like me and anyone else doing some decent research on this to prove well, it's completely fake. If they're faking this promotional video, what else are they faking? By the way, I will put a link to all of these images in the description so you can check them out for yourself as well so you can be really convinced. Keep your money safe. That's what I'm trying to do here to convince you that uh, Xerox Capital is a complete scam. The purpose of this video is simply to prove to you that uh, Xerox Capital is indeed a scam. I'm not here to promote anything else myself. However, do watch to the end because if you are interested in something that's genuine for the last 20 years, I've been making a living from the internet. I've been involved in high yield uh, investments and, and the like. And so if you're interested in that, do subscribe to my channel, but more details of that later on in the video. And again, that's not the purpose of this video. The video is to prove that Xerox Capital is a scam to preserve your money. So let's go on to the next uh, bit of evidence. Only offer our products through qualified financial advice. So there we go, again we've got a uh, Photoshop, the Xerox Capital, and we've got some further evidence of this particular building, and I can show you the stock footage of this building as well. This is with a stock footage company called Pond5, and there we can see the Decker building uh, rising high in Frankfurt in Germany, nowhere near Fuji, and it clearly says Decker on the side it's nothing to do with Xerox Capital. They are faking it and uh, obtaining money by fraud and deception. Now we go back to the main corporate video here. In a moment, I'm gonna freeze it again because uh, this also is quite interesting what happens next. Let's just play from here. Okay, so we're gonna freeze this here. Now we've got a picture of a face here and this person is wearing a red tie. And I'm gonna show you an image of this person in just a moment. And again, very interestingly, this person has got nothing to do with Xerox Capital. This again is a Decker situation, Decker Bank in Germany. Uh, so if we just go to this page, and here is that person again in that video. Let me just flick backwards and forwards. So the person got the hair, same place, glasses, red tie, it is the exact same person, the photograph probably taken on the same day by the publicity people. So who is this person? Well, this person is actually Dr. Ulrich Kata. He is a chief economic advisor for Decker Bank. So it would appear that um, Xerox Capital or the scammers there have taken a lot of their information from Decker Bank. They've used their Decker Bank building as part of their stock photo and they've managed to incorporate this as part of their corporate video as well on YouTube. Now the next bit I actually find quite amusing because on uh, with these videos for scammers, they always tend to put in lots of uh, nice sounding words that sound intellectual and uh, financial and so on. Um, but let's just come up to this bit and listen carefully here. What you've got to listen for is the word decarbonization. Let's just see what they say on this video. Helps governments and businesses meet their decarburization goal. Did you say decarburization? Decarburization. Decarburization. Okay, not decarbonization. Uh, can't even read the script that is being given. 
Anyway, the video carries on with lots and lots of stock footage. I'm just going to show you one more bit of stock footage. Then I'll go through uh, three other reasons why Xerox Capital is clearly a scam. Uh, but let's go and have a look at this bit of stock footage uh, first of all. So there we go. We've got a nice data room. We've got Xerox Capital uh, printed up here again, photoshopped on this because this again is stock footage and I've managed to find this stock footage all from the same suppliers with the same chart, the same room and so on. Let's have a look at that. And there again, person walks into screen, the exact same chart in the background. So again, it's lots of stock photos manipulated with fake putting Xerox Capital on there. So why on earth would anyone trust a company uh, that's supposed to be legitimate when they're put using such uh, fake uh, imagery in their promotional video. Now, when we actually look at the Xerox Capital website, xeroxcapital.com, if we look at their plan page, we can see here they're offering a compound plan at 3% return, daily interest return, uh, minimum investment $20,000. Um, now, any company offering investments, uh, that is a highly regulated activity anywhere in the world. And yet, uh, Xerox Capital have absolutely zero uh, authorization, permission, authority from any financial uh, vicinity in the world. Uh, if we go right the way through here, you'll find there's absolutely nothing on here. No FCA links or SEC. Uh, and so on. There's absolutely no regulatory body, financial regulatory body around the world who have verified Xerox Capital as being legitimate, and yet they are offering investment programs. So that is a very, very big warning sign indeed. Um, we'll go on to this 3% in just a moment as well. Another thing um, they say on their website and their various promoters will tell you that they started in 2016. It was on their incorporation um, details, their incorporation certificate. However, you can go back to uh, Wayback Machine, so web.archive.org, and I went back to look at August the 7th, 2019 for their website address, xeroxcapital.com, and we see it's an invalid URL. So even though they supposedly started in 2016, uh, by 2019 the website was doing nothing. In fact, there's been nothing on this website until very recently to even suggest that that's what they are as a business. So again, another big red flag warning sign there. Uh, they are lying uh, pretty con unconvincingly about the date that they started their business. But let's look at the final real red flag that should utterly convince you that this is nothing but a scam. If these images and the fakery that they're using hasn't convinced you, how about what they are telling you? So again, we'll go back to their website and go to their plan section. See, they're offering 3% for 60 days, in other words, 60 returns, capital return back, a daily interest return with an investment amount of $20,000. So let me open a spreadsheet and show what that actually means. You're starting with an initial investment of $20,000. By the way, you can download uh, this spreadsheet in the description. Um, daily return on investment is 3%. So after 60 days, you start with 20,000, you'd have $36,000. And if you're gonna really make the most of this, you're gonna reinvest that to let compounding be on your side. And again, your sponsor may well say, you know, the power of compounding, the eighth wonder of the world, as um, Albert Einstein said, which I don't think he did, but anyway, that's by the by. So you compound that, you put, your 36,000 back in on the next 60 days. So after 120 days, you would have $64,800 and so on. And if you follow this through, you can see that after 1,680 days, which is just under five years, about four and a half years, you would have $280 billion, which is actually more than the richest person on the planet, Elon Musk, is worth about $260 billion at the moment. So in less than five years, apparently, with Xerox Capital, you could be richer than the richest person on the planet, beat seven billion other people, and become a multi-billionaire in less than five years. <laughs> 
And that really should be an absolute clincher and convincer for you that this is utter nonsense, that it's utterly illogical that anyone can return 3% per day for 60 days continuous um, and then just keep on doing that. That should really convince you you should not get involved in this Ponzi scheme. So hopefully that's given you a real heads up that Xerox Capital is nothing but an outright scam. Do feel free to share this video with other people who may be trying to convince you to join Xerox Capital. You're very likely to lose your money. This is what's called a Ponzi scheme and it will, for most people, never pay out. It will vanish at some point, probably very soon. Uh, usually Ponzi schemes that are offering 3% per day don't uh, stay around for very long at all and don't even be tempted to go into this. Uh, what you'll find is your sponsor, your introducer will say to you, will only risk what you can afford to lose because that way when you've doubled your money back, you take out your initial investment and you've got nothing to lose. That is really, really bad advice for two reasons. Firstly, uh, you are unlikely, uh, you, you don't know when this is going to collapse and it will collapse at some point because all Ponzi schemes do, it's mathematically guaranteed. Um, so you never know when that's going to be. So you're taking a massively high risk in the first place because it is undoubtedly a Ponzi scheme. And secondly, the reason you shouldn't do that is because you would be contributing to this Ponzi scheme and we don't know who's behind this. They could be terrorists, they could be funding wars around the world. It is criminal activity. It's actually a crime to even take part in a Ponzi scheme, let alone to run one. Um, so from a moral issue, don't even be tempted from your greed to think, oh, 3% per day, if I could just do this for 60 days or 90 days, take my money out, uh, triple my money and so on. Don't even be tempted, you're funding criminal activity by doing that. You don't know where, that's money, know where that money is going. This is uh, people obtaining money by fraud and deception. It's as black and white as that. I hope that's helped save you your money. Keep it safe in your pocket. Do subscribe to my channel if you found this video useful. Give me a thumbs up, pass some comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, and also do subscribe to my channel. Like I said earlier, if you're interested in finding legitimate uh, ways of making money online, do subscribe uh, and I'll notify you of those videos as soon as possible. I do have some of my channel already showing you some of those as well. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching.